Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my home in Livingston, Montana. Okay, what I'm up to is another review on a Puma knife, if you will, and this is a Puma Sedona. Sedona is, now why they named this a Sedona, is, or Sedona, is beyond me. That's a city in Arizona. <laughs> but anyway, this is the box it comes with, and there's the product number, or the model number, 125396. I personally don't buy Pumas unless they, unless they, if they don't come in this black box right here, it says handmade and got a German certificate and they're, you know, I just don't buy them. I don't like their IP knives and I don't like their SGBs. I've said that many times. You want to buy a knife that comes in this black box right here. Knife makers to the world. Okay. Now. I got a little bit more paperwork. The reason why I'm doing it this way is to save time. Okay, I bought this knife from these folks, these nice guys over in Germany, I've discovered. German-knife-shop.com. Take a few minutes to look at the, you know, the specs, if you will, on this knife. So I don't got, so I can, like I say, I can save time. This knife cost me $179. Plus ten dollars shipping from Germany. Like I say, it's called a Sedona. This is the first knife that I've ever owned by Puma from Puma that's got wooden handles. In this case, ebony. Okay. Oh, uh, I think that's good enough right there. Okay. Let's get on to the knife, so I can stop boring you. Okay. The, all of these German-made Pumas come with a quality sheath. There's no if, ands, or buts about this. I know, I. this is the eighth Puma I, I, I own. This is number eight, so I know what I'm talking about. This is almost a trademark signature of Puma knives. The way that this lanyard comes through this sheath, I'll show you, in case you've never seen this before, comes through this sheath like this and right through the knife. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Working in close proximity. You see that right there? You know, there's not a whole lot of companies that go to this kind of detail, you know, that's just to keep you from losing your knife, you know, pretty good feature, I think, all right, now, we'll take this guy out of here, okay, now, like I say, you already seen the specs on this guy, and almost all, I got to be very careful, because this knife is really, really sharp, all of these boomers right here, they'll either say, Handmade, if they're if they're coming out of that little German plant, or they'll at least say Germany on it, like this guy right here. And uh, this is just a really nice knife. But one thing I want to point out about this handle, this is not a very big handle, okay? I don't have, I've just got medium-sized hands, and this, this handle, for lack of better words, is slender, or elegant, or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, I'm really not recommending this 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 particular knife here for somebody that's got great big large hands. It's as simple as that. Now look at these big gigantic pins that they use to rivet this ebony wood on here. Now I I don't know if this is a you know aluminum or stainless steel or what. And of course that's that lanyard hole I just got done showing you. And one thing about this knife, it doesn't have any jimping right here, okay? But that doesn't really matter, because if you look real close on this finger bolster right here, they left a great big bump right here. And that acts, see, that kind of acts like jimping. You know, I mean, these guys at Puma, they've been building knives for 250 years, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and uh, I, re I bought this particular knife right here for my survival pack. I wanted a, a, a nice pointed... I wanted a little different of a knife than what I was carrying, but believe you me, I went down a road, and I wished I wouldn't have went down, but anyway, and all of these knives, these Pumas, come with a Rockwell designation. You see that little mark right there? If you could possibly see that, that's a proofing mark. That's a tool mark. That's a Rockwell hardness uh, dimple, if you will. Yeah, if somebody's trying to sell you what they're claiming is a Puma, and it doesn't have this mark on it, it's probably an imposter. Okay, and this particular knife here, if you're wondering what the 
the blade grind is it's it's got a it's it's a it's it's a it's a hollow ground, but it's not really pronounced all that much. As a you know what I mean, it's just not a it's not hollow ground as heavily as I've seen some knives. And I do believe this is what they call a clip point. Now this blade's a little bit marked up, but I hand sharpen all my knives with whetstone, so there you are with all that. But this camera of mine keeps coming out of focus. Good God, I hate that when that happens. The videos are hard enough to make the way it is. But anyway, so that's about all I've got to say. The only criticism I have about this particular knife right here is the fact that the handle is pretty slender and it probably won't fit, you know, big-handed guys and like that. Okay, thank you very much for looking at this knife. Uh, we'll catch you on down the trail. And you folks take care of yourselves, okay? Thanks for watching the video.